Jackson State has just landed one of the best running backs in all of HBCU football and Savion Wilkerson, the transfer from Delaware State. We're going to talk about it and what that means for the Tigers moving forward after the bump. What is good, good people? What is good, good people? My name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. here with the Black Boss Channel and Victory Formation. Thank you guys, you guys, you for tuning in. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and the notification bell because we upload every single day. Now, this report, I first saw it by a man named Stan Beckton, and then I confirmed it on Twitter. He says, Jackson State just picked up a big-time transfer and running back, Savion Wilkerson. Wilkerson was arguably the best running back in the MEAC last year. Well, he was second behind uh, the young man from Norfolk State, but he was a good one uh, for DSU and spent the spring at West Virginia. He'll provide a boost to an already explosive JSU offense. Savion Wilkerson is a tough running back. He's arguably the best HBCU running back in all of FCS uh, Savion Wilkerson is a beast. Savion Wilkerson is someone that Jackson State needed. No disrespect to the running backs at Jackson State right now, like Santee Marshall and some other guys. But two of the biggest – I've spoke about this on this platform multiple times. Jackson State needed to upgrade the offensive line. It looks like they've done that. They went out and signed a bunch of guys. We'll see which combination of those five guys will work. They went out and signed a bunch of guys, and they needed to upgrade the running back room as far as offense goes. That in going to get a guy like Savion Wilkerson, no disrespect to Santee Marshall, J.D. Martin, and some of those other guys there, Tyson Alexander. But Alexander hasn't played. He was hurt last year. J.D. Martin and Santee Marshall, no disrespect to them, but they're, they're, they're limited. Wilkerson is it. Wilkerson is a beast. Wilkerson has proven it at the MEAC level, which I mean, we see what the MEAC can do when they play Jackson State, that he is one of the top backs in all of HBCU football. I'm going to let his highlights run and, and just so you guys can see what I'm talking about and how explosive he puts together both size, speed, and power. Did it all for Delaware State. Did it all for DSU. And he will instantly, to me, he instantly makes this JSU uh, offense even more explosive than it already was. Uh, this this young man is a beast. Uh, he 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 was able to do things against, as you see, South Carolina State. He was able to do things against some of the best teams in the MEAC, some of the best teams in FCS. Although Delaware State was a limited group, they weren't that great of a team. Jackson State needed to upgrade the running back position. They do it with a 5'8", 200 200 pound running back who scored eight touchdowns last year, who ran for over 800 yards, who will be able to spell and give Shador Sanders, not allow Shador to go back and drop back and throw the ball 35, 40 times a game, even though I know it's what his dad wants to do. Even though I know it's what Prime wants to do, he wants to go back and sling the thing around. But having a sure firepower, powerful running back with moves, with speed, with some wiggle is just what Jackson State needed. We know they got a 10, you know, 10, 11, 12 receivers on the outside that can make plays, but having that running back. Now, they got to find the offensive line combination because even in the spring game, the O-line wasn't it, right? They had to find the O-line combination. But if they can figure out that starting five at the O-line with this guy in the backfield, Shadour and all those guys on the outside, Kevin Coleman, Travis Hunter, Malachi Weidman, Trevante Rucker, just all the even the guys I can't think of right now, all the guys on the outside. This is a home run of a transfer to me. This could potentially be the biggest transfer Jackson State has gotten this offseason, and they've gotten a ton of them. But I think the addition of Savion Wilkerson could be the biggest addition as far as transfer portal, be the biggest addition for Jackson State. I know that offensive line and those you they got to find those guys, but I, I love, love, love this get, and you get them for three years. So you get him for the duration of – I mean, you get him for a long, long time. He's got the COVID year in his pocket because of COVID. He only played two years at DSU. He was a freshman All-American, over 800, nearly 900 yards. This is a good day to be a JSU Tiger. That's all I got to say. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below on the addition of Savion Wilkerson to the Jackson State football team at running back, a position that they needed, whether you like to admit it or not. They needed another running back. They got a good one at Savion Wilkerson. My name is Jeff Lighty Jr. with the Black Boss Channel. Hit that thumbs up button on your way out. Let me know what you think about this addition. This is a big time, and thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Peace.